Sometimes you feel like you're growing slow and things aren't going the way that you need to and then you walk into a place and you're reminded that you're still on your journey and God's like, girl, guy, girl, keep going. So we love that reminder when we have it. And it happens a lot here in Charleston. So we love you guys. We appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here. You need a sign, kitty, a lullaby. Anything comes, anything goes. Now I got you, never let go. Better hit nice if you go. Let me give you a little inspo. Better fulfill my fantasies. Gotta see if you're into me. Maybe we'll make a symphony. So symphony. Oh, what am I wearing? It's so cold in Charleston. What is going on? Taylor. I'm not complaining about my cold. Right. We're trying a new restaurant, you guys. Observations for last name Matthew. Oh, bam. <laughs> I got so since moving to Charleston, I started drinking Bloody Marys. Um, I'm not a sweet and savory person, but 
I love the savory nature of it. And some places give you like bacon and lobster in there. They know the two purpose for Bloody Mary though, right? Hangover? Yeah. That's what they drink with the venting. I got some substance. A little bit of liquor. I was just selling donuts. I told my mom to delete all the photos and I was like... Some Brussels sprouts are really good. I just yeah, don't know how to do it. Is it really good? What are you rating it, Taylor? It's 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? It's worth it's, it's a sauce. Smooth. It's, it's nice sweet, and it's hot. It's a sauce. It's yeah. tangy. It's a sauce. And it's not the way they made it. Where have you seen Brussels sprouts made like this? Ritual. You're supposed to be a shared meal. That's what it is. It's I know, a shared meal. And you came up with the recipe yourself? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good, right? How do we find you to get it here? Um, yeah, this year. I haven't really started. Uh, before we leave, so that's Chris. What are you gonna? What are you gonna call it? Uh, I'm still working on that too because I'm doing, I'm doing like a mild, medium, and that's the, the spicy hot one. Yeah. So it, it just got flavor too. Yeah. And that's the best part about it. Like. The fermented garlic, honestly, I found just adds so much depth mm. in the flavor of it. Yeah. It's really good. Well, you have to come up with a name. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> kinda, I'm kind of hoping my, uh, my better half to come up with it. She's the uh, kind of artistic. Okay. Good, good, okay. Good words, poems, all that. Awesome. Kind of stuff. No, I'm. So Chris that's brought us these morning. guys. Oh, it's his <laughs> fermented hot sauce that he's working on and he's going to be selling them. But guys, when I tell you, trust me, from a Caribbean person, so full of flavor. Guys, on your oysters, amazing. spring break and today we are doing a picnic downtown in the park by the battery by the water and so we're currently packing up our blankets we have some of our beach mats Taylor is so excited we have garlic crackers spicy avocado hummus which we like we have a whole bunch of fruits you love fruits Simpler Wines, this Target brand, the, um, not Target, <laughs> Trader Joe's. Basically, the mango flavor is really good, you guys. 10 out of 10. LaCroix is our favorite water to have because we don't really buy juice. Not really then I have, I have bought, like, a few juices here and there, but. The only thing bought is orange juice. Orange juice? And it's still in the fridge. Yes. No, it was, like. Uh, passion fruit and it's still there. It's been there for two weeks. So that's how much we don't this drink is juice. Thing. I got this from my mom's closet from, oh, I this from Myrtle Beach and I took it from her. I got these from Target last summer. And yeah. Outfit check. First day of spring break. Super cute. <laughs> excited when we start putting on his clothes. I'm going road. I'm doing road today. By the way, music, you should tell them that you can talk now. He's been talking so much, you guys, in the form of barking. But he wants something, he's barking at you. Anything. Food, clothes, anything. All right, who's ready to go? 
Is music ready to go? Music's ready to go. I think so. I think so, too. Taylor. There were so many people out here um, just kind of relaxing and reading a book. Some of them have left already. But yeah, if you're just looking to take in some sea breeze, this is the place you want to come. The water is right there. Bella is journaling. This is what we're about to do. We're about to go to Lovetown Fancy, H&M, Target, every single store on this whole trip. We're having fun. So we're currently doing a quick stroll down King Street. Love that fancy. I love this dress. I love this shirt. That pink one is super cute. Okay, so we're sitting here waiting for Taylor and Love Shack Fancy. She decided to try some things on. So we're going to see how it looks. So we're currently at Charleston Place, getting ready to go grab some ice cream as we walk down King Street. Let's go guys! Ooh, would you wear these? No. It's a no for me. It's a no for me! <laughs> it's a no for me! It's a very no for me. It's a no for me, guys. It's a no for me. Oh, that's not a fire hydrant. A fire hydrant. Oh, I'm sure he can't go into Gucci. I believe when we first experienced the world of electronic music, my perspective shifted. A community of people so connected on this energetic. Is it music? Yeah. Hi. My perspective shifted. This carrot cake ice cream is everything and more. Taylor, you want to try this? Guys, so good. Online appointment booking is available right from your phone or phone computer. Vanilla and lavender lattes, which are delicious. We make everything in house, all the flavors. Salted toffee, super popular. Our mocha is awesome. The coconut latte instead of the salted toffee. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, so she's having the chocolate croissant. Is it warm? All right, so I got a hot drink. 
a coconut latte. Wow. wow. Yeah. Guys, the coconut is so good. Oh yeah, I love this. I love the different flavors that you guys have. So it's more milkshake than like a frappe because I don't think they added coffee to it, but if they did, this would be A+. plus. They did add coffee. I ordered a coffee drink. It doesn't taste like it. Let me see what it looks like. It's the strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate ice cream that they made into a drink, but I wish it oh, had Oh, maybe chocolate. it isn't coffee then. Yeah. It is just a milkshake. We just made some cheddar jalapeno burgers for Travis. We have the vegetarian ones, and then we have regular beef jalapeno and cheddar burgers. Mm -hmm. Spring break, there's a lot of things that you can do, but one of the things that we like to do is just to kind of find local activities that is budget friendly, but also fun. And so you can just simply spend a day at the pool with burgers, chicken, whatever you want to do. Burgers, super easy. So that's what I'm doing. And then you just chill at the pool. Burgers are coming along great. They look so scrumptious. They turned out to be food for the soul. It looks so good. See how it tastes. How is it? You ready to try burgers? Mm hmm. Mm. How is it? Good? Mm hmm. Flavorful, yummy? Mm hmm. You're not gonna put no hot sauce on it? Mm hmm. Smells yeah, new. It's, it's already good. Wow. Let's do that. Mm. Oh, wow. It's dripping, guys. Juicy. How flavorful it is. What do you think, babe? So far, it is the best veggie burger I've ever had. Really? For one, the way it's built, the way it's built, the way it's look, it looks so hearty. The patty actually stayed together like a patty, versus like those black bean burgers that are always falling apart. But the flavor, every bite. Mm. Did yeah. anybody else and then the ranch? bread, the boys' bread. Mm. Did anybody else ranch? Mm -mm. It's really good. Oh, I'm about to dig into one of these jalapenos, no baby. Yeah, the jalapeno is very mild in it, though. I thought it was going to be hotter. So we're headed to happy hour at Lola's. Cajun and Creole restaurant in Park Circle. So Park Circle is North Charleston, which is about 15 minutes outside of downtown. And so happy hour runs from Monday, Tuesday to Friday from four to six. And on Tuesday specifically, they're supposed to, I haven't been, have crawfish. So that's what I'm hoping to get today. And I know they have oyster specials, but I'll keep you guys in the know. So let's go have some fun. Let's go, Tay Baby. Oysters. I'm very sushi. South. I don't know what's Sushi, no, you the bougie. You've been bougie before the south. Not really. I got two. I already ate it. <laughs>
that we're picking up the camera today. It is six o'clock and today we are headed to a musical at the Dock Street Theater called hmm, Once Upon an Island. So apparently it debuted originally on Broadway. I think the year was 1985, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, I met this guy at the Candle Library on King Street and he is performing in the musical and he told me all about it like in March and so I said I gotta get tickets and he also told me that on day one which is today and I think it's pretty common for the theater that you do pay as you go and so those tickets are only released 24 hours prior to so the musical starts at 7 30 p.m today at 7 30 p.m on tuesday they went live and when i tell you i tried four times before getting tickets and i was on from 7 25 it released exactly at 7 30. i tried to like delay in picking seats asking hubs and that was the wrong idea because by the time i hit bye they were gone and so I kept doing that kept doing that for like front seats and so we're pretty much all the way to the back so I probably should have pit, picked a mid-range and just gone with it instead of trying to go to the front and then by the time I'm kept being delayed I'm only getting like four seats so but we are in the orchestra and we're looking forward to it so stay tuned for that Okay, and 108, you have another one on here? Three. Yeah. Okay, three. And 109. And to the theater you guys we have Hubby Taylor and um, we're just waiting for it to get started it's two minutes to 7 30 so I'm super excited I love this oh if I didn't mention this before it's an all black cast and I love that so let's get into it Thursday so we didn't come back with you guys last night because we were tired but the musical was a 10 out of 10 you guys it was so good I could watch it again and it was only an hour and a half long right babe you loved it yes. all right so we are about to go working out um, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna work out with hubby or if I'm gonna do my own thing Am I working out with you or am I doing my own thing? Oh, you forgot your headphones? Mm, I think I'm going to do my own. <laughs> Trying to be me, they won't try and walk me. Everything in is a blessing. Every mess is that I see. Yeah, but he and I do. I might only buy and I do. Yeah, please don't go by. Just getting started. Alright, I'm done with my workout, you guys. So I'm about to head home to make breakfast. 
and get the kid up because today we're going to the Music, you want a watermelon? Here, bud. Watermelon? We're going now. to oh my God. buy a boat. I'm gonna go in on the other side. Yeah. sound. I'm rocking yarnies today, you guys. This is Taylor's design. Well, the waist cover up. So yeah. Is it? Yeah. I like it. I mean, I like it too, but I wouldn't it's like, like it. It's like a mango so big. I wouldn't like it with this. Mm. Yeah. That's why I wouldn't like it with this. Because with this, I want this, everything mm. else to be sweet. Oh, okay. Almond. That's how you, when I call it myself, I get the green bottle. Well? I just can't be bothered to order two things. So, so get what you get in different toppings. Mm -hmm. Okay, man, I'm here. We got first in the next one. Folly Beach. The drive was pretty easy. Parking was pretty easy today too. Uh, we had street parking but it was paid street parking because it was close to the beach. The tide is all the way up. We haven't been to Folly Beach in a long time and so I'm not used to seeing the tide. There's a lot more sand space and right now there isn't. The pier which is behind me is done as well. When we first moved here they were still doing construction on it so we're excited to go see that. Taylor's playing, or she's getting ready to um, bury my feet because that's as much as I said that I'm allowing her to do. And the water is looking very brown. Florida has a lot of rain right now, so I'm thinking a lot of this weather is coming from this, this water does not look good. get something to eat right in front of the pier and we're leaving early because the weather is terrible such a trashy beach guys i mean i would say don't go to folly beach but it's probably just today like this it wasn't sunny so the sand was awful dirtier than this sand it was literally black and then it just the tide was up so you just, and there was barely any space because this the wasn't tide a good was all the horrible up. beach day if you haven't we weren't even at the beach for an hour, and we were like, it's time to go. So. We're eating at Pier 101. I think we mentioned that earlier. It's typical beach food, calamari, fries, fries burgers. I did order see the Caesar salad though. So we'll let you guys know how the food is. I don't typically enjoy food like this. I like gourmet style food. Like hit me with the oyster Rockefeller. Like I don't know. I like menus that are really, really creative. This will do what we need to do though because we need to get out of here before the rain starts. But 
we're just happy to be out here amongst all the tourists. It's super fun. I like people watching, which is exactly what I'm about to do because Taylor has my phone. What oh, this remind me of? What? That day we went to what's that beach? That far, that far beach. Not Cape May. Okay. I don't want to. And it was raining. We sat in the car, and the rain stopped, and we went to the, the boardwalk restaurant to eat in your hotel. I think Cape May was the furthest beach we went to. There's another one. In Cape May? Sorry for the one we go to. Oh, that's in Cape May area. No, no, no. We go to Point Pleasant, and then we went to Cape May, and there's another beach that we go to in New York. I think I got a mudslide. Definitely tastes like a mudslide. What would you rate it? Parents, consistency, a four. But the taste of a mudslide, I'd be the six. At this time, you're While we wait, we're about to do a puzzle competition. We're going to do Lord of the Rings. Hey, don't start with that one. I'm trying to dry the face. Uh-huh. Teeth. You're my cup of coffee in the morning. 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 You're my cup of coffee in the morning. 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 They have his curtains. I know for certain you give me clarity And I feel that whatever's lurking I think it's working You got the spell on me Happy Friday guys Today is a pool day We are lounging at the pool Hubby's having his lunch Taylor and I already had lunch at home. And so today we're just hoping to just vibe out by the pool. The sun is out. <laughs> Yesterday was such a fail, but today is so much better. Taylor said the water is cold. There's this new coffee shop. Well, it's an Italian restaurant called Sorelle, and they opened uh, a few months ago back in February. Heard good ratings about their food, but I also heard one not so good rating. Um, so I haven't tried their food for myself, but most of the ratings are really, really good. Um, and they have a Mercado, so a little market that you could get coffee, treats oh my gosh you guys their apple crostata turnover chef's kiss like so good and it's super cute in there what am i telling you let's just go see it
We are at Shem's Creek okay. and we are about to go on like a boat cruise type thing from now to 5 o'clock and I'm very excited because who wouldn't want to go on a boat? We stopped at Red's which you saw Taylor tell you we were here because we're going on a boat cruise you guys and I'm just so excited. Since moving here we've been wanting to do this and it's the perfect time for spring break. It leaves from Shem Creek. We're going to give you all of the details, don't worry. The website, where you can go to book, how many times they have cruises per week. The Five Wings, the Great Grill Trim. They've got a long time, Long Island. Yes. There you go. Alright, the cruise is over guys and I will say that it is definitely a 10 out of 10 for relaxation. Um, I was able to just sit back, enjoy the sun and you could bring your food. They have liquor but you could bring your own liquor in your coffee cup. <laughs> What's your take on the water? catamaran cruise no it was pretty cool man i've never really seen charleston from that angle before i mean there's nothing oh, yeah, compared you didn't do what we did the boat. yeah there's nothing compared to like a caribbean water cruise where you got to be like feeling to jump into the water but it was nice it was cool we met some cool people it was just a real relaxing vibe like i would do it just for the sense of going out there relaxing just seeing the island from a different place and just spending some time on the water i love being in the water so yeah i give it a 10. for sure so I probably already put how to book your cruise and all of that in the beginning, but it's definitely worth it. So make sure you book your cruise when you come to visit Charleston. Let's do the perspective. What? Hey, buddy boy. Look at this glow! Oh, oh my, Taylor, look. Taylor, baby. Look at mommy. Yeah. You know what this is called? A sunset. Golden hour. Oh, that. <laughs> Guys, we're on the road again. This movie night that's happening in um, North Charleston and it's sponsored by the Charleston Police Department. So we yeah, figured we'd go. Movie night. It ain't no regular movie night. What's, what's it called? Oh, okay. So back up you want the floor sir tell okay. him all right so let's go and talk about we got invited to a movie night this ain't a regular movie night this is an old school drive-in movie night all right so come and say you all in the trunk <laughs> the movie is called luca i don't think i've ever watched it so that's good so music is coming with us and he was too excited you guys I'm not doing anything. 
anything. They did. I sat right in the couch. <laughs> I was like, you guys are being doing the most right now. Yeah, but it's cool. What is it? It's like a little air.